Hello, my name is Ethan Jenkins, and we're back again today with another TC tip with Ethan. Today, I'm going over a feature on this platform that might seem a little intuitive, but to me, I see it as a game of chess. It's really easy to learn and use, but to master and have it work for you is actually pretty difficult. So today, I'm going to be looking at the My Preferences tab within Terrapins Connect. So let's jump right into it. Going onto your Terrapins Connect account, from any page on here, you can click in the top right corner on your icon and go down to My Preferences. From here, you can di see different slots, but I will be going over them one by one here. So starting with notifications, first, if you'd like to be notified by your phone number at any time, you can just put it into here, and that's how you can have notifications sent to your phone. But what if you're saying, I don't want all notifications sent to my phone, that seems like a little much. You can come down here and tailor how you are contacted by each event on Terrapins Connect. So say you want to be really on top of your uh, meetings and your messages on Terrapins Connect. You can have all of these sent to your mobile phone, but say if any updates on the newsletter, discussion boards that you've posted come out, maybe you don't want to be notified or you just want to be notified with email, you can check those boxes on the left too. Going on to privacy, this is how you can manage how users connect with you and who connects with you. You can also manage uh, what users you're blocked through this platform. Down to availability, this is a very unique feature to Terrapins Connect is that you can turn on and off when you're open to having meetings with community, as well as your availability within your group memberships on Terrapins Connect. Going down to account, this is general account maintenance. So your email, your associated, associated password. If you also haven't yet, you can use your single sign on if you are a current student to access Terrapins Connect and connect it here. Also, if all of your information is in Terrapins Connect, but you're saying, I don't really want to copy it over, you can link your Terrapins Connect account direct, directly to your LinkedIn and it will auto-populate all of your prior experiences, your interests, straight from LinkedIn into the Terrapins Connect account. You can also connect your Google for this calendar feature I'll talk about soon, as well as manage the time zone and your account itself. So connecting your Google will give you uh, access to manage your calendar exactly how you want to. Here, you can sync this platform with your iCloud, Google Calendar, Outlook, Office, most calendars so that any meetings you make in the platform or connections can be auto-populated into the calendar you use most. Also, you can manage which shared contact information you use through this platform, as well as your location here. Down to the matching quiz, I feel like this is the thing that users should update the most regularly because they change the most. This includes your location, your interest in receiving help on the platform, as well as the following industries that you're in, you're included in, whether that's your uh, experiences or your current position. These are ever changing on the platform for every user. And they're also really critical to new features on the platform as Terrapins Connect specializes connections and prefer or connections and suggestions for users based on other users on the platform and their industries. So I hope this little tip helped and go Terps.